All right, welcome everyone. Uh, this video is going to be about tablets. Uh, the question I get quite a bit is what sort of tablet should I be using? Uh, do I need to spend a ton of money? Do I need this model, that model? Uh, so I want to make this video to answer that question. What sort of tablet should you get if you want to color comics? And the answer is it really doesn't matter very much. It, it honestly depends on your personal preference. Um, it depends on uh, it depends on a lot of things. So this video, I want to point out a few things you may want to think about if you're going to be uh, considering buying one, or uh, if you just want to know where to start. So first off, what do I use? I get that question a lot, and I've got both ends of the spectrum uh, covered. Um, I use uh, primarily my main tablet is still in a Wacom Intuos 2. Yes, an Intuos 2, which means it's about 13 years old, 12 years old, I think, at this point. So, um, so yeah, it won't die. Uh, I've mentioned that in, in a lot of videos. It just won't die. So I'm still using it. Um, yeah, and you can get this tablet really cheap these days. Um, I was looking on eBay earlier, you know, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, 15 bucks with no pin. Uh, the pins are hard to find. I will say that if you're going to go this old, uh, but you're on a budget, this is the way to go. Uh, you know, if you want to get an old, or I won't say this is the way to go if you want to go cheap, but this is one way you can go if you want to go really cheaply. Um, now, uh, do you need to get a used one or get a new one? Again, it doesn't matter. Really, it's up to your budget. Um, Wacom still makes a, a, a lot of relatively inexpensive tablets. Now, I'm not an expert on what all they're offering right now, but um, I want to say they start around 60 bucks or so, maybe. Um, don't quote me on that. Let me see here. These are 99. Let's see, this one's 79. Pretty sure they start off even cheaper than that. Let's see. Let's go to Amazon. Wacom tablet. Wacom Wacom. I heard I hear it both ways. There's refurbs for 70. Anyway, um, so again, there's lots of options for for inexpensive tablets. Um, if you do uh, now, I like Wacom personally because again, my Intuos 2 just has lasted forever. I, I've never seen a device designed for a computer last this long. Usually if you get a couple of years at best uh, with any sort of peripherals, that's kind of the way it goes. But I'm a big uh, Wacom fan. So that's on the low end uh, as far as uh, now you can, there are a lot of sizes. Again, it really just kind of depends on what your preference is. Mine is a, actually I think I can show it to you. Let me see if I do do this. Let's see. Can I? Does that does that work? Yeah, maybe. I'm upside down. There we go. There. So mine's a six by eight, which means um, you know the the drawing area itself is six by eight, and for me, I I, I get used to that. I like it's not a lot of arm movement. I'm if I want to get from one corner of the screen to another, I'm not. You know, moving a lot. Um, it's it's very efficient as far as um, you know getting around the screen without a lot of effort. So let's put this back. It's gonna want to fall now. Yeah, something like that. So um, six by eight works for me. You can go smaller. You can go bigger. Um, again, it's sort of a personal preference. Um, now, there are some differences as far as um, the pressure sensitivity. You know, some are 1024 levels, some are 2048. I honestly don't think it makes that much difference. The one that I have is the 2048, but I've played around with some of the ones that are, you know, uh, 1024. It doesn't seem to make that much difference. Um, but again, that's just me. You may find that different, especially if you're just starting out and you're wanting to get in fairly cheaply. You don't know if you're going to. You know, stick with the coloring, or you're brand new to coloring. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on, on, um, on a tablet. Then again, you can go cheap and go this route, uh, either, like I said, eBay or one of these uh, lower end bamboos, any of that kind of stuff are all very good tablets. Um, I will mention I've had some people tell me about, and I don't know how to say this name, 
uh, Huion. I'm probably butchering that. Um, they have a lot of cheap tablets too. They're even cheaper than uh, Wacom, and these are new, starting around forty-five, fifty dollars. Um, I ordered one of these for work, um, but uh, uh, my my day job work, I guess I should say, which is not really drawing. It's more just as a pointing device for during trainings and whatnot. But um, but it's working. It's working fine. Uh, it seems like it would uh, work just as well. So, all right. So. That's the the low end of the tablets. Um, now you can sort of spend you can spend as much as you want on a tablet. <laughs> really, honestly, um, you can uh, buy a small vehicle for the price of, of some tablets. Um, now I do also have uh, it's over here to the right. I'm not going to show it to you because I've got this mess over here. Uh, I also have a uh, a Wacom Companion, and let me see if I can find that. I bought this a little over a year ago. Now it's a, it's on the other end of the spectrum. This is like it's a Cintiq um, or a Cintiq Companion. They've got the Cintiq Companion 2 out. Um, there's a couple of different models of these also. Um, let me see if there's these are considered display tablets. Now all the ones I've talked about so far are what they consider just to be pen tablets, where your 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 hand is on the desk but you're looking at your monitor, you know, while you're you're coloring uh, or drawing. And for that that disconnect is a problem for some people. Um, it, it wasn't for me. It took about two days. Again, this was like 12 years ago when I first got a tablet, but it took about two days to get used to it, and I was good to go. I've, I've talked to people that said they can't do it. You know, they've got to go with a Cintiq or something if they want to um, want to use a tablet. So again, it's sort of a personal preference thing there. So, but all the ones we've talked about so far are just the regular pen tablets where there is no display built into the tablet. Now. The, the other option are the Cintiqs, and again, uh, these come in a couple of flavors these days. Um, there are the models that uh, connect to a computer, where you have to have them connected to a computer, and your computer is running the tablet. It's just like a secondary display, except you are, um, you're actually drawing and working on the tablet itself. Um, let's see if and I'm sure they have a video here or something explaining that, but we won't watch that. But but these are a little pricier. You know, these are going to start um, I think around a thousand maybe for the 13 inch. Um, but again, that connects to the computer, and you're drawing and working directly on the tablet itself. And they're nice if you can afford it. Um, the one that I have is a is a fairly new product. Um, they only came it started last year I think or a year and a half ago or so. And these are they're self-contained, so it's a Windows tablet, basically, um, you know, standalone computer with a drawing tablet built in. Uh, you know, it's got that Wacom digitizer built in. So I basically use mine when I'm traveling most of the time. If I'm in hotels or I'm at a con and I want to get some work done, or uh, it's a good conversation starter at conventions. If I'm, I want to keep it out there and. Uh, People ask what I do as a colorist. I can break it out and show it to them. It doesn't have to be connected to a computer. Um, the new models will connect to a computer if you want to do that as well uh, and use it like a standard Cintiq. Um, these start, uh, the companion starts around 1700, 2000, I think. Uh, something like that. Let me see what our options are here. I should have opened this up earlier. So let's see, the base model. It's cheaper than I thought. Actually, the base model starts at $12.99, and they go up. The processors go up. You know, hard drive space goes up. I've, I've got the equivalent of this one, basically. This is the older. This is the new model here. Mine's older. But um, but I do have it mounted on an arm uh, on my computer desk, too. And I sort of switch back and forth, to be honest with you. Um, I'll work on my tablet, my, my, my Intuos. A lot. Um, sometimes when I change it up, I'll swing it around and, and work on it. If I'm doing more of a of a painty type style, um, I, I do tend to enjoy working on the companion a little bit better. It does. It's uh, it's hard to describe, uh, but I'm I'm also one of the few people, I think, on the planet that didn't care for the big Cintiqs. Um, now again, this is uh, there are not a lot of people that I have found that agree with me on this at all but uh, for me they was it was too large I, I tried a I tried a 22 I think it was 
and I also are 24 I can't remember um, but for me I was so used to working on a 6 by 8 surface being able to swing from you know one end of the page to the other without doing a lot of movement or or one end of the screen to the other without moving around much that when I actually got on a, on a big Cintiq uh, it was you know I felt like I was doing calisthenics it, it was just a little a little more movement than, than I was used to I, and I only tried it for a couple of days and just figured out that I, I just didn't care for it um, so the, the companion I have is a 13 inch um, and that seems to be for me sort of a sweet spot but again that's just my opinion I keep saying that because everyone is different so let's see what have I not covered so starter tablets like I said the the, the bamboos they don't call them bamboos anymore but the that 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 line of, of of Wacom tablets is the one I would recommend the most if you're wanting to go really inexpensive um, without having a cheap product. Uh, I'm a big f fan of those for the ones that are just starting out, um, and I think they call them the Intuos Pros now. Uh, that's sort of their high end standard tablet without a without a display, which is pretty much the equivalent to what I have now. Um, Except these have lots of uh, touch features and more buttons and and uh, that sort of thing. So, if you're wanting to get the best possible tablet, bang for the buck, you know, price not being an issue, the Intuos Pro is probably the best you can get. Um, they start around, uh, let's see, the mediums 350 US, the smalls are 250, the larges are 500. So. That's that's a that's a pretty large tablet there, um, so um, so yeah I I don't know if this video answered uh, I hope it answered the question well enough uh, because the answer really it, like I said which tablet should you buy it depends a lot on your budget what you're trying to do are you just starting out or are you wanting something to take with you on the road um, but um, just to recap. Low end, go with bamboo or used Intuos, the older Intuos. Like I said, they're cheap tablets now um, since the Pro line has come out. They've dropped a lot. You can get them for less than 50 bucks on eBay or refurbished, uh, even on Amazon. I think they're going for 50, 60. Uh, middle of the road, um, again, the Intuos Pros. Um, but again, these are pretty high end as far as just uh, standard drawing tablets without the display. And then, of course, if you want to go uh, high end, if you're probably making some money doing this, or you just have money laying around that you want to spend on a, on a tablet, then you know, go with the Cintiq. Um, the third, they've got a 13 inch, they've got a 22 and a 27, and the companions, which have the computers built in. So, I hope this has been helpful. Um, the answer is broad, like I said, but I hope this has helped someone. If you have more specific questions, or you uh, want to know about any of these in particular. Um, I've tested quite a few. Leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This is usually not a, a tech review channel if you've just kind of flown in here. It's usually coloring uh, tutorials primarily. Um, I do have a coloring course at cometcolor.com slash learn. I'll put a link at the in the description and at the uh, annotation there. And the, let me see, going to be over here possibly or somewhere. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and uh, you guys have a good day.